Hi there, this is Matt from Big City Lights here. And today we're gonna to be going over the Big City Model 1 shoulder rig. This video is gonna be basically an overview of the actual rig itself, um, followed by an actual setup of the rig, and then uh, a little bit of an explanation as to why this might be the right um, shoulder rig for you. This shoulder rig is available on our website, um, and it can be purchased with all of the accessories, which we'll be going over in this video or just as the shoulder rig by itself, which we'll also be going over in this video. So uh, let's just get right to it and uh, go over this thing. So um, the Big City Model 1 shoulder rig has this padded um, shoulder rest over here that just kind of hops onto your shoulder. Um, it's very comfortable um, for you know getting your shots. Um, you feel really in control. Um, it also has these fully adjustable um, grips at the end that are very comfortable. Um, so if you need to, let's say, go kind of like on a tighter grip for your shots or a wider grip that's fully adjustable to you and you can adjust it how you like. Getting into the actual camera plate um, over here, um, it has a, I don't know if you can see it right now, but we'll get a shot of it. Uh, it's the uh, bubble level over here um, so that you can ensure that your shots are level. And uh, one of my favorite features of the uh, the uh, rig is this um, tripod accessibility uh, component right here at the bottom. So basically what that's going to do is allow you to um, attach a tripod camera plate to the actual bottom of the rig so that if on your shoot you're hopping between uh, shots on a shoulder rig and static shots on a tripod, you're able to do that um, kind of really quick and get uh, back to your shoulder rig after your tripod shots. and vice versa as well. So um, getting into uh, more of the attachments uh, for the, sh the rig, um, we have this overhead grip right here. Um, and so this overhead grip is used to kind of maybe get lower angle shots um, or if you just kind of want to get, uh, yeah, really down low or just kind of have an overhead grip. Um, it's just uh, another um, element to uh, the rig and it just adds uh, more versatility when you're getting your shots. Um, the overhead grip is attached to the rig with this uh, kind of metal arm over here and uh, this metal arm actually doesn't really add any weight to the right or left side depending on how you uh, build this setup. Um, it's just how it attaches and uh, also another really cool part of the uh, overhead grip is that it has these two uh, screw mounts over here, uh, three eighths and a quarter inch. So if you were to want to add any attachments to it, um, you're able to do that. We have the uh, fall of focus ring. Um, so basically what that's going to do is allow you to um, kind of focus your shots without actually going to grab the lens and adjusting the focus. Um, it's a little bit more closer to you. You do have to have one hand kind of off the um, rig as you're shooting to use it if you're doing that by yourself but if you have someone with you like an assistant camera operator um, they're able to just kind of stand beside you and um, monitor the focus um, alongside you and there's also this uh, dry erase shield so you can um, mark your uh, <clears throat> excuse me mark your focus points with uh, a dry erase marker. The last component of this uh, of this shoulder rig is the uh, map box here at the end uh, this is the only plastic part of the shoulder rig. Basically, it goes over the uh, end of the lens over here and it does everything really that you need uh, the map box to do. So it's fully adjustable um, and it's able to, you know, cut out that excess light that's uh, perhaps getting into your shot or that lens flare that you may not want. But uh, I think it's just a little bit for the aesthetic. Um, but again, if, if you're going to be using the map box, then uh, that's going to be there for you in the uh, full rig. Hey guys, so here's the actual building of the Big City Shoulder Rig. Please note that the shoulder rig can be purchased with everything that you see here or just the shoulder rig with camera plate and grip handles. This does not include the overhead grip. As you can see, there are no other tools necessary to build this rig. You may want to use a flathead or a coin just to tighten the camera plate to the bottom of your camera, but other than that, everything can be put together on its own. There are blue metal knobs that allow you to loosen and tighten the parts and attach them to the rails. The rails are attached on the rig by simply twisting them into each other. 
The other pieces then slide onto the rails and are secured by tightening the knobs. The follow focus ring may be tricky to get onto the rig and lined up with your camera, but all you need to do to fix this is simply adjust the height of the follow focus ring to line up with the focus ring on your lens and you're good to go. Remember, don't twist the knobs too tightly to ensure that there is no damage done to the rig and all of the other parts. So that was our overview of the Big City Model 1 shoulder rig. I would highly recommend this shoulder rig to any kind of beginner to intermediate level filmmaker because it's going to get you the stabilization that you need for your tracking shots and your panning shots and any kind of shot that you really won't be using a tripod for. Again, this is for that kind of beginner to intermediate level filmmaker because it's not so expensive as a steady cam rig, but it'll still get you kind of the result that you need. I would recommend it also because it's lightweight, it's very easy to set up and get uh, right into it. Um, so if this is something that you're looking to buy, you can visit us at our website at bigcitylights.ca and thanks for watching.